I'm into people using technology to create human to human experiences and expanding their network to find more information and more people to connect with and collaborate with for new content or to explore or inquire about old content. The question is, um, how do we ensure that we can provide this technology effectively? Because we don't want it to, be, to only belong to the elite and then power would be, once again, concentrated. So we have to make sure that um, yeah, we can distribute this effectively. I think this was actually a very good experience to have to see what other educators have to say and I also think this is a discussion that we need to continue to have, especially including more students. Um, so the question was asked, well, it gave an example of a, um, I believe, Microsoft product that had to be taken down. It was an AI chatbot because it quickly learned how to um, reproduce uh, offensive post and language. And so the question um, asked about how AI is um, how in education we need to be responsive to ensuring that these systemic um, inequalities aren't reflected in the technology. Um, how do we do this was my take on it. And so I think that as long as we, um, the big piece is we need to examine who is creating, right, the um, artificial intelligence tools. Uh, and what biases they bring to the table um, and understanding that since it is created by humans and we are innately flawed that the systems too are going to be reflective of those biases that the programmers bring into them. The prompt was about artificial intelligence systems that are designed by corporations for user engagement and the question was about uh, can there be a system that promotes making more profit but also increases social good and my comment was that um, it's this notion of having a win-win situation where you can make money while making the world a better place and I think that's a fallacy so that's kind of what I wrote about. Coming from a less of an educator um, standpoint and more of a future designer um, I found it interesting that this talk involved, I guess, primarily educators. And uh, I remember that the speaker mentioned a suggestion towards designers that said that perhaps designers should, when designing their systems, should offer or consult a panel of educators, therefore having an open table for both sides to agree. But then at the same time, it's curious that when proposing that, the whole meeting to which it's directed to educators, there isn't as many designers present. I love Nicole Miro's work and it was really exciting to hear the discussion of um, critical civic empathy and how we can use digital uh, tools to help students learn how to break those bubbles uh, created by residential segregation, school segregation, um, and really just as a way to uh, foster empathy, inquiry, responsiveness.